You might have heard us talking about simplifying IoT. Let's show you how concrete that is with Avneed from the IoT Solutions team with a demo of IoT Central and all the new features we have in there today on the IoT Show. Watching the IoT show, I'm Olivier, your host. We are still on the road here at Ignite 2019, and I found Avnit on the IoT booth. How are you, Avnit? I'm excellent. How about you? Awesome. I'm great. great. So, what are you doing at Microsoft? Which team are you working for? Quick introduction for that. Sure, audience. absolutely. So, I'm Avnit Singh. I'm a senior program manager on the Azure IoT team, um, and I primarily focus on our IoT solutions and simplifying IoT that way. Simplifying IoT. I think that's the key word here. Yeah. We're going to talk and demo how, with IoT Central, we are simplifying the IoT solutions development, right? Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, we'll show you some demos from each of the industry vertical angles, um, okay. and I'll talk a little bit about the devices that are playing a part okay. in the industry solutions. Let's jump into it directly. Awesome. Okay. So we'll start off with some of our uh, sort of our landing page for IoT uh -huh. Central. It's, you'll see this is a new refresh look new. of yeah. IoT Central. Um, so we're starting off with sort of uh, the three pillars of Central uh, okay. around get connected, stay connected, and transform. Okay. That's our new messaging. And um, we're helping folks connect their devices, uh, make sure that there's a great device management story, yeah. and then also getting that data out of those devices into the business apps, because that's where it really needs yeah. to go. There's something um, that struck me in actually watching that new landing page is that diagram down there. Yeah. In the past, IoT Central was described as the SaaS application for IoT development. Yeah. But now we're talking more about using Central as your device gateway, a very powerful gateway for devices yeah. in the cloud. But now you can connect these devices, manage the devices, and work on the rest of the application exactly. with other services, right? Yeah, yeah. So when you look at those three stages, there's a lot involved there. So we're trying to figure out, hey, where's the, uh, what is, what can we do to simplify those three stages for our solution builders? Okay. And how do we make sure that we're integrating with the large set of customer apps, business apps that they're leveraging as well? Okay. So. So once you land there, what's your next step? Yeah, so within IoT Central, there's three tabs that you'll see here. Um, yeah. The one improvement that I'll talk a little bit about is what we've done is we've introduced 11 new application templates okay. across four different industries, and that's just a starting point. Um, so the four industries that you see today are retail, energy, government, and healthcare. Okay. And we'll soon be adding some of the other industries as well. Okay. Um, so what we'll do is we'll sort of pick one of the application yeah. templates, and I'll walk you through okay. what does that look like out of the box, how do I really go get started with yeah. it, yeah. things like that. So, so right now in that preview, what we're seeing is the Microsoft template, the vanilla ones, right? Yes, that's Is correct. Is there going to be a partner story where we're going to have more solutions coming from our partners? Correct. So we're, actually, so all the solutions are going to be built by the partners. Okay. Templates are primarily going to be first party, but that's a great point, and we'll, we'll take that feedback into consideration. Awesome. Well. Love it. Yeah. So let's talk a little bit about the uh, IoT Central templates. So yeah. I showed you the 11 uh, that we have across yeah. all these four industries. We'll actually pick the very first, uh, the in-store analytics one okay. within uh, retail. So when you provision that application, this is sort of your landing experience. Okay. Uh, in the past, you would see a very vanilla experience for IoT Central, where you would land on a lot of documentation yeah. links. Uh, but what we wanted to do was take a step back and provide a view that is more relevant to your environment. Okay. So when you pick an in-store analytics, you'll see a set of simulated devices that we've created uh -huh. yeah. um, that are firing, again, simulated data. Um, and you'll be able to visualize what that story looks like. Okay. Um, so let me show you some of the devices that actually are in here. Um, so I, for instance, for in-store analytics, I'm looking at the thermostat, yep. um, so I'm monitoring conditions within okay. my store, and I'm uh -huh. also looking at occupancy as well. Okay, got it, makes sense. Store. So that's where our solution builder would get started. Uh, and the next step you might ask is, how do I build a solution with this? How do I make it my own, yep. right? Um, so the next step is really to start customizing this uh, and make it your own by white labeling the solution yourself. Okay. Um, that's the exercise we did. Um, so we've created a Pentosa retail solution. Okay. Um, so this is a white labeled solution, started with a yeah. template. Yeah. Uh, I've onboarded some real devices on okay. there as well. Yeah. Um, and and these you are... removed the checkout three because you only have two. That's correct. You basically really yeah. adapt to your needs. Yeah, so my okay. store layout is totally different from what I had in the template, so okay. I've sort of customized that um, okay. to the Love needs it. as well. So, so you're saying you connect it to actual real devices? Yes. We okay. Did. How yeah. hard was that? Um, it's super easy okay. because the devices that we've picked are all plug and play certified. Okay. Um, so they're all in our device catalog and you should definitely go check them out. Awesome. Um, and it's as easy as really pulling the tab on the device. And okay. when I do that, the sensor starts talking to a gateway device yeah. and okay. registers itself in IoT Central. Oh, awesome. And plug and play makes it like plug and play. Like yes. And exactly. that much. Love yeah. it. Or pull and play. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or pull and play. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, so we'll show you the list of devices that we have in this particular solution. Yeah. So when you go to the devices tab, you'll see all of these devices have been provisioned yeah. and they're firing real telemetry okay. uh, in this environment. So we have okay. these devices laying around here yeah. that are capturing conditions here. 
Um, and you can manage all of these devices all the way from sending a command down to okay. the device to okay. also pushing maybe a firmware update if that's what you, you need to do. Okay. Yeah. Now, one of the other big value propositions for IoT Central is uh, we want you to build your end-to-end -end solutions with IoT Central. Yep. Um, so once you get your data connected uh, and get that plumbing yep. to IoT Central, uh -huh. we want you to get that out to your business applications because okay. that, that is where your customers yep. are going to live. Yep. Yep. Uh, we're not we're not saying that IoT Central is your business yep. application. Yep. Um, so I'll show you an example can of I, a business. Can I consider the um, uh, IoT Central as the application as my operation? Yeah, part, yeah, absolutely. Story, right? So that's my OT part of things. Exactly. Um, I can actually have different types of users as well, yep. that will access different dashboards yes. depending on their role yeah. to monitor what's going on in my store. Right? Absolutely, yeah. Okay. With the custom roles that we just enabled in the current release, okay. um, you can totally customize the roles and the set, set of views that they'll have access to. But yes, okay. you're absolutely right. Operations is okay. where we think uh, you need to go. Love for it. Okay. And then you export that data into your business application. In that yep. case, you have a Power BI app, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So this is a Power BI application where lots of the data that you see here, you saw in IoT Central yep. as well. Yep. But the IoT Central view was a little bit overwhelming for a business manager because yeah. they, they don't necessarily care about devices in their environment. Mm -hmm. They care about the insights yeah. that those devices yeah. are generating. Yeah, yeah. So this is sort of a summary data. And it's yeah. a real-time dashboard that you see on here. Could totally be replaced by your own line of business application. It doesn't yeah. have to be Power BI, uh, but we're yeah. trying to enable more and more uh, platforms like Power BI and Power Apps uh, for Central. I like the cameo here. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate that. Love yeah. it. Okay, so um, we're talking about the uh, the device at some point. You're talking about plug and play real quick. Yeah. There's a catalog of devices out there that are certified for plug and play, making it like super simple to get started with not just the IoT application yeah. with IoT Central, but also with the devices, right? Yeah, yeah. The device catalog is actually critical in two ways. One, for our device builders. Yeah. Uh, we have a huge ecosystem of device builders that we work with to mm -hmm. get the, their devices plug and play certified yeah. so they can play a part in all of the templates that we talked about. Um, and then secondly, it's, it's very important for solution builders as well because yeah. they're looking for concrete recommendations yeah. for what devices do I go buy when yeah. I want to build a solution. So they can go to our device catalog and here they'll see the list of devices that are on here. Um, so the ones I have on desk here are all certified and they're in our catalog. And they can browse through awesome. it based on their scenario, pick a yeah. device that they want. And that list is ever growing. Exactly, yeah. I we love that. Thousands of devices in there now. So simplifying the connection, staying connected, yes. and then integrating to your business applications. That's correct. That's all How about. simple is that? Yeah. Love it. Yeah. Thanks, Avneet. Absolutely. Thanks for watching the IoT Show. If you want to learn more about how we're simplifying IoT with IoT Central, aka.ms slash IoT Show slash IoT Central. See you soon on the IoT Show.